Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids0147, and Mr. Raccoon is finished. Um, so yes, there is a lot of white in this one. Um, a few people did suggest cutting off the top um, and things like that, but I just I find the image just wouldn't quite have looked the same um, if I did do that. But I must say it was actually really enjoyable to do this one. I did work by colour. So what I did was I actually, while I started sort of at the top, I then ended up doing all the white. And then I went into the next colour that's sort of round the edge. And then the next and then the next. And I just did all the colour that was on the raccoon. So I did these white bits here. But then when it came to the very pale pink, which is 819, there was a few little bits here as well as around the outside. And I just moved in and in and in. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed doing it. It was nice to do something um, a little bit of a different way. But it is now time to de-kit. I do have a lot of diamonds left. I still actually have a full tub of 3865 as well as some smaller ones. Um, it was quite a nice square to work on. It does have a little gap between each square and um, they're not quite as snug as some can be, but you can still make the image. They were very uniform in that sense. So first things first, I know my three tens are stored, or my square three tens are stored in a very big bag here. So this is probably one of the easiest ones to de-kit because I just throw it in there. So let me get the sticker off. Just, oh, just that last little bit didn't want to come off, but we got it. Um, other than that, when I'm putting away square diamonds, I do like to check if any of these colours are needed in my Heaven and Earth design paintings because I don't keep them with my normal spares. So I have four of these pots um, with various colours in. So the first thing I do is I go through and I've got some 451 here. Let's see if they'll fit in. Borderline. Oh yeah. We got those in, so 451, 452 isn't in here, either's 453, 543, nope, and that's it, we now go to the next one. So this has got 603 to 905, so 779, that one's in here, so let's see if I can get these in. Yeah, they just have on the top. 819, I do have in here, but it's too full. So I'll show you what I do with that one in a minute. 838, I might have enough space in this one because there's not as many left over of these colours as there is of 3865. 842, again, that one's there, but it's too full. Now I need my next basket, which, has this got 3371? Oh, I've got space in here. So I'll add those in. Then I need my last case. 3740, no. 3787, yes. Should have enough space for these as well. I do. 3860, I don't think I'm going to have enough space for them. 3861, I might have enough space for these. Definitely got a few different shades in that colour. <laughs> it's a few different varieties. But that's fine. 3864 I don't have and 3865 I do but it's full. 
Okay, so I've been through all of my cases for my Heaven and Earth designs. These are ones that I'm using in my Heaven and Earth designs but don't have the space in those cases. And these are the ones that need to go into my normal spare storage. So let's see if these are going to remove easy. If, if they take time i think they're going to take time and slowness so i will fight with taking stickers off later so the first thing i want to do is this is my very very messy box that has any of my heaven and earth design extra diamonds in i just have cards that say 900 500 etc but they're all over the place they're all squares, they're all for this painting. So 819 is there. I already have a bag for it. 842, do I have a bag for that? Sometimes these are in order and sometimes they're not. Okay, I don't have a bag for 842. 3860. See, look, these are getting quite full to burst in, some of these. They're stacking on top of each other. I have a bag for that one. And 3865. I have a bag for this one. Let's see if these will all fit. So the small box will, or will the big box? Well, they're in the bag, but will it shut is the question. Very close to shutting, but not quite. Oh, here we go. I've got one that's got a bit more room in it. Same number, 3865. I have quite a few spares of those. So let's tip some of those out. Maybe I should move these over to being in a, in a big bag like my 310s are. Okay, so all I need to do is create a little bag for 842. And I do just have this little pot. It has a few different things in it. An Ever Moment bag, that will do. And this is 842. So I'm just going to write that on with a sharpie. Because whenever my Heaven and Earth design painting is finished, finished, then all of these diamonds will be moving over into my normal spare storage, which has a completely different, very pretty way of organising them. So for now, that is my Heaven and Earth Design Spurs. And I might give that a revamp in the future. I might not. So what I need to do now is put these five away in my normal spare storage of which some of these are pretty and some of them aren't so this is a pretty box Let's see so these are all lined up in number order 452 i have a bag ready for rounds and a bag for squares though i've not had any rounds yet but i do have squares so i'm going to add them in and there are a few different shades of this in here, but I do mix up the shades because I figured I can always figure out which shade it is that I need according to which painting may have run out and I can figure out between the two. 453, it's my square bag for 453. It has a diamond trying to escape. Add those in. And then pop that back in. I like to have my bag of rounds in the front and my bag of squares behind. Now I need 543, which is here. Where's my, where's my bag for squares? Have I, oh, I've managed to hit it. I've managed to put it in the wrong section. I was like that, I know I have the bag because I used all the stickers. 
I managed to put it back in the wrong place last time I did it. See, we've got quite a few different shades between 543, between a couple of different sellers. Let's put them back in the right place this time. And then we've got the 3000. So I think I can skip my second box. I guess we'll find out. Now this is the box that has not yet been worked on. 3740. So I've done the bag for 3740. I just haven't done these two rows. So 3740. They can go in there nicely. And then 3864. So much nicer when these all line up. 3864 in square. So this has got my old style label on, which is basically just a rectangle label to depict the square diamonds. And a round label to depict the round, but that's how I used to do them, which is still okay, just the other way is a lot prettier. So 3864, that one, let's pop that in there. So that is my diamonds away for Mr. Raccoon. Um, I will get all the labels off the pots after, but I do want to get um, him away in my completed diamond paintings. So the first thing I do is I do cut round and cut all the canvas off. all the way around the edge because this has got very much a white background and of course the line around the edge is black i'm trying to get as close to the black line as i can however it is going to go on black paper so if i have black line showing that's fine as long as i don't have white canvas showing after it Now, I know some people don't like to cut all the edge of the canvas off in case they ever go to frame it in the future. However, pretty much every canvas that I have framed, I've cut this edge off anyway. In fact, I think I have done it on every single canvas that I've framed. Either because I've purchased a frame that is exactly the right size for the canvas, for the drill area, and therefore doesn't need the rest. Or alternatively, I cut round the canvas and I actually stick it onto something else before I put it in the frame. I know some people use washi tape round the edge and decorate that way and then put in the frame. And I may have done that on one painting very early on, but I actually prefer to do it this other way now. So if I get a piece of my black card, so what I would do is I would get the likes of the black card, put the diamond painting on the top, but I'd cut the black card down to the size of my frame. So in effect, I'm getting that border it's just a step down from the actual diamond painting itself. So one of the last things I need to do is I'm gonna use some double-sided tape. Now this doesn't, it's not extra strong double-sided tape, this one, it's just the bog standard double-sided tissue tape. It doesn't stick the best on the back of a canvas because of the texture and because it's not, you know, it's made for sticking paper together really. But it does stick enough to hold it in place. So I'm gonna line up where's right, and then can take a little bit to get the edge right because it wants to lift off the canvas. It's very low tack on the back of the canvas, though it will stick better to the black card but it will stick. 
and all I need it to stick for is long enough for enough time just to stop the canvas moving about. So say it does stick but you could peel it up if you wanted to and what I want is now is even if I'm hitting that against the desk the picture doesn't fall off and then I can grab not that one that one which is my A3 display art folder with all my other paintings in it and then can slip raccoon in to join. Now you can always add you know a little a little information about you know where the painting's from, how long it took, you can fit around these edges but for me it's enough just to have all the diamond paintings that I've sort of finished recently in one place and tidy and away and I can also change this from one as and when I feel like it as well but that is raccoon finished and de-kitted so thank you so much to everybody for joining me and um, stay tuned because it is time for me to kit up another smaller painting so that video will be coming soon thanks for watching I'll speak to you all again soon